Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Certainly was a soggy Saturday, but Sunday will be a lot drier. Let's take a look at what's happening now. We're looking at drier weather already. Still some drizzle and mist, but we're not looking at that uh, continuous rain. Uh, threat tracker for tonight, I think for here on out, should be a lot quieter for tomorrow and Monday. Looking at a low chance for severe weather. Rainfall at TF Green, about two inches of rain. Same for Bristol, New Bedford, nearly two inches. In the city of Providence, 1.86. Fall River 1.3 westerly, a little bit more than an inch. Here's a look at Providence right now. You can see the camera shaking around 53 degrees. Wind from the southwest, 16 miles an hour, gusting to 30. With those winds picking up, kind of helped to disturb the atmosphere enough that the fog kind of uh, broke up. 49 now in Chapach at 50 in Richmond, 50 now against at Newport at 50 degrees. Satellite radar picture showing where all that rain is now working its way away from us. We're going to be seeing some clearing overnight. In fact, you can see the the back edge of the clouds already coming through Connecticut associated with a cold front that will continue to work its way across southern New England. We're going to see more of a westerly wind develop over the next 12 hours. That will bring in some drier and also some cooler air into southern New England. So a little spotty drizzle and mist overnight, but by 8 o'clock in the morning, I think we're looking at drier and brighter conditions. Here we are at 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, still quiet and staying dry right into your Sunday evening. But winds tomorrow could be gusting between 30 and 40 miles an hour. We'll talk about that more in a second. Sunday morning looks like this. Temperatures climbing back through the 40s and uh, topping out probably only in the low to mid 40s in the afternoon. Uh, it Looking at winds gusting to 40 miles an hour along the south coast. Charlestown 43, now against at 44. Newport about 43 degrees. Up in central and northern Rhode Island, maybe a little bit cooler up here during the afternoon. 40 in Barville, 40 in Foster, Johnston, North Providence, Providence down into East Providence, all the way into Bristol, about 43, 44 degrees with winds from the west, 15, 25 miles an hour, gusting up to 40 miles an hour. Fall River about 42 tomorrow afternoon. Westport, Dartmouth, New Bedford, and the lower. 40s, but we'll have lots of sunshine and drier conditions. Here's that seven day forecast. Let's go through this on Monday. We are expecting some colder weather with highs only in the mid to upper 30s. I think we're dry during the daylight hours and probably dry through 8 p.m. But on a Monday night and into Tuesday morning, we are looking at the possibility of some freezing rain, maybe a little snow mixed in as well, especially inland and then rain for most of the day on Tuesday, cold rain on Wednesday. We we are looking at the possibility for some snow showers or snow squalls late in the afternoon and during the evening hours. Hopefully it won't have too much of an impact on the uh, evening commute Wednesday and then a lot colder for Thursday with highs only in the upper 20s staying kind of cold for next Friday as well. So tomorrow looks a lot drier, but it will be pretty windy. Okay, thanks so much. Coming up now in sports, the Patriots looking to grab a win in Cincinnati.